Today we're going to talk about the best hollow bodied irons for your golf game in 2024. Everybody wants a nice forgiving golf club, everybody wants to play better golf, and everybody wants to lower their scores. So we're going to kick things off with an iron that I absolutely love. I've tested these irons quite a lot this year. We are of course talking about the brand new Mizuno 245 irons now these do have that hollow body construction they also have a forged element to them which makes them feel really nice and the big thing about these is they've taken on from the kind of p790 mold the cobra forge tech mold in that they look like a bladed iron you could have these in your golf bag and nobody would be any the wiser that you're not using a mizuno blade they also feature a grain flow forge technology so you get that feel element as well it's imperative to me all the clubs down there don't show them too much all the clubs down there do feature something that make these clubs not only go a long way but also feel very very soft as well so you're getting the best of both worlds and they also feature technology that allows you to get good landing angle and good spin rate to hit good golf shots so for me this is up there i'd say it's not the best one we are going to go in order so i've got six irons to show you today i'm a big fan of all of them mizuno for me do make fantastic irons they make better, better players' irons, in my opinion, Mizuno, but I had to mention the 245s because they just look fantastic. And they all, like, would you think that's a blade? I think it looks a lot better than the old HMB iron that they used to produce. So we're into the wind here, we're about 160 yards out. Can we control a nice flight with this Mizuno iron? I love the blade length, the top line's perfect. And that feel is absolutely phenomenal. There's an old saying, isn't there, that nothing feels like a Mizuno, and you start to think, is that just marketing? Is that true? I mean, that felt absolutely delightful, and that's it, number six of my best forgiving hollow-bodied irons for you of 2024. So the next iron we're going to talk about is brand new to the market, and until now have only made golf balls and gloves and towels. We are, of course, talking about the Vice VG01 golf club i think these look absolutely spectacular i'm going to put it out there for me they're just a little bit too expensive for a full set of these gorgeous irons it's going to set you back over a thousand pounds they do feature a three times forged head and a milled finish so you do get that kind of superior durability and feel they're a two-piece hollow body construction so that creates one of the hottest faces in golf vice do claim they have low offset a thin top line low cg and they of course feature that increased bounce as you do move up so for me there's lots to go out there they do look spectacular and you can of course get them in like different color schemes and things like that so for me i think that's pretty good i would like to think they were a little bit cheaper i thought these were going to be on the lines of the kind of tacomo mold but they're not like i said they're over a thousand pounds for a full set four iron pitching wedge so they are up there with the creme de la cremes the pings the titleist the tailor made the pxg and uh, things like that they do feature their own little kind of shaft labels and things like that as well so they've gone all out with their own brand and they also feature their own grip so true temper do make these shafts but like we said they're, they're definitely for that consumer or that customer or that golfer that's played the ball a long time really really likes them really likes the idea of being a little bit different and a little bit out there so for me they definitely have to be in there but i think for the price i don't know if i'd be looking for something a little bit i don't know more mainstream than the vgi01 very interesting name as well isn't it like it's a long a long-winded name but we've got the seven iron here into the wind i'm going to put it out there down at the ball it looks spectacular it probably looks better than what the mizuno did it's got that thinner top line it's got really really nice blade length and for me i really really do like the look of that this does look like a blade there's no getting around this looks like a blade how does it feel even compared to the mizuno oh look at that bobby if it goes in we're gonna to have to put them in the bag aren't we that's got to kick right as well has it go on go on Honestly, that's why it's got to be in there. The Vice VGI01. Next up is what I think the best hollow bodied iron of 2024, but there's a reason why it's coming in at number four of my top six. There's also a reason why I've gone top six and not top five like I always would do. Um, but as you can see, this thing looks remarkable. It really, really does look good. It's of course the brand new Callaway Apex Thai fusion or ti fusion however you want to say it 
So this features a fusion of titanium and different forgings for unmatched feel, superior ball flights and unmatched distance. That's what Callaway claim. It also features a really cool dynamic gold black shaft. It's kind of a nice stealthed out look. And I honestly think it's the best looking iron I've ever seen. It looks so good. It does mark up a little bit. So be aware of that. I've used these for a couple of rounds just for fun golf, to be honest, on sand based golf courses. So fair enough. But it doesn't, I don't know, it, it doesn't look like new for very long, which this is the elephant in the room, guys, the £2,000. So I think it's fair to say, yes, they are very, very, very good. But we have irons down there that cost a quarter of that that I think are better value. So we're going to talk about that a little bit later on in the video, but I think I have to have these in there. They also have the brand new Callaway AI 200 and AI 300, the Apex versions, they're very, very good. They're still rather expensive. And I think if I was going to spend the money on the, on the AI Apex 200s, the Apex AI 200s, I'd probably just go for these. I'd spend that a little bit more because these do feel so good. They look so good down at the board, look spectacular. The blade length's phenomenal. The top line's perfect. I'm talking myself into it again. Every time I get these out of the bag or out of the office, I just talk myself into it. And they feel as good as they look, they perform as good as they look. Everything about them for me just screams these irons are fantastic. God, look at that down with the ball. They're just too expensive. And I know they're a kind of limited run and I know they're not gonna be for everyone. But that ball flight, I'm sorry, but that's ridiculous. And that's an eight iron. I wish they were cheaper. I wish they were cheaper. And I think in three or four years time at the guys at Golf Clubs for Cash, somebody will find an absolute bargain or on the Callaway pre-owned website because they, they run that now as well, don't they? So um, yeah, TI Fusion, TI. Next up is a brand that's taken the golf world by storm. And they seem to be signing pretty much everybody in the golf space as well. We're of course talking about the Tacomo irons and these are the 101 T irons. Now, I was lucky, I was one of the first guys to review the 101 irons when they got released. They were hollow bodied, they were forgiving, they were cheap, they were everything that people want. And I feel like Tacoma being very, very clever with their marketing and very, very clever with what they're doing with their clubs because these cost around five to 600 pounds. I think you'd pay imports as well, depending where you are. So that's worth thinking about. But they feature a really, really nice forged head and they feel as soft as anything. Not only do they feature that forged hollow bodied head, they feature components premium. I've said the right words there in the wrong order. What's wrong with me? They feature premium components. We have the KBS shaft in there as standard and we have the Lampkin cross line grip and all these things you might think when you're buying a Callaway or a PXG or a Titleist or a Ping, oh, they're gonna have premium components anyway, because that's what you expect. But when you're buying a club that, I think initially they used to be like 499, I think they're up at maybe 600 now, that you don't expect that. You don't expect a KBS shaft, you don't expect a Lampkin grip, but you get it. And then we have a lovely forged soft head as well. So really, how much technology would you anticipate in this club? Not too much, but if you get good feel and you get good performance, like, I've put these up against, say, TaylorMade P770s. I've put them up against PXG 0317T irons, and they hold their own. They perform really, really well. And for the price, they probably could be higher up in this series, to be honest. They could be higher up in this video because I know that a lot of people are price driven. I'm very price driven with what I'm buying. I'm actually using a set of 301s at the moment in the bag. I'm using the copper version that matches this, this jumper. I also had a really nice white hat for this video as well. Let's see it. What have you just done? What have you just done? You placed the towel. I placed the white hat on the seat is what I did. What, no, what, have, you, you what have you just it done? On the, what have you done? Your hat fell off. Oh my God. It's a nice blue tin. Bobby. But with this 101T, I feel like it was born very quickly after the 101 because Tacoma knew that they wanted something for the lower handicapper that isn't just a kind of forged blade or a forged cavity back. And this, me and Chris actively say quite often, I would have these in the bag. I actually put the four iron in the bag for quite a long time for shots off the tee and for long par threes. And I made quite a lot of birdies with it as well. I mean, that sound for that price is ridiculous. Oh, I've missed the green, Bobby. I've missed the I thought that was going to take that little kick in like it did with the Vice, but phenomenal sound, phenomenal performance at a phenomenal price with the Tacomo 101T.
So in at number two is a brand and a set of clubs, which I honestly think are making the best full bag of 2024. If I had to have just one brand in there, a lot of people will know this year it would be PXG. I think they're absolutely smashing it. And I feel like, to be honest, there's a lot of negativity around PXG and I don't know why. I feel like it's because they used to charge so much money. Obviously, PXG used to be the brand where they'd basically just charge like a fortune and you would have them if you were very affluent and wealthy. But now I feel like they've actually come into the market a lot more. Yes, they're still quite expensive, but they're still cheaper than, say, the Callaway Tie Fusions. They're still at the same price, say, a set of TaylorMades or a set of Mizunos or a set of Pings. So I think they're really, really good. And I think you can get custom fitted to within an inch of their life for them or even a millimeter of their life for them and a gram of their life for them as well. So the 0317T irons for me are phenomenal. I would have them in the black finish. Like I think it's a tiny bit more money for the black finish, but I think they look fantastic. And for me, these bad boys with that hollow body design with that kind of milled aspect as well, feel fantastic. And the amount of times I use these and I have to look down here to make sure that they're not the STs and they're not the kind of bladed iron, because they just look that good. They look that good down at the ball. You'll see we have that central weighting to help with CG. And I actually really like as well that kind of bottom line. So you get that white groove, it's very Ping-esque. And when I went to the Ping factory, Ping actually said that they use that to measure the lie angles in the machines. So whether or not PXG do that, or it's just for cosmetic, that looks really good on the black head, by the way, like really, really good on the black head. So for me, these are probably up there with some of the best. We have another club above them, and there's a reason for that. So you'll get that in just a second. It's gone really cold, Bobby, hasn't it? I'm absolutely freezing, but this is the PXG 0317T. And how's that for a strike? Come on, take the bounce then. Take the bounce. No. Nope. What's number one? Number one for me is the OG of hollow bodied irons. Bobby, what do you think it is? I have no idea. He has no idea. It's the TaylorMade P770 Ooh. irons. Now, these are the new version, the 2024 version. And I think TaylorMade were kind of within a rock and a hard place with these irons because the new, they probably had to update them a little bit. The old ones have been out a couple of years. We've got that hollow body construction. We have that through slot speed pocket. We also have that speed foam. Don't tell Costco, shh, because you know what I mean about the, yeah, there's a big lawsuit going on, isn't there? I can't speak too loud because they might hear us. But these are phenomenal and they are the OGs. They were the first to do it. They feel really, really good. They actually feel a little bit firmer than some of the clubs that I've tested today or that I've shown you today. And if you like that, then you will really enjoy it. Numbers wise, they hold up fantastically well. And the P790 was the iron that I think has changed golf forever. TaylorMade came out there quite ballsy to be honest and just said, look, try them. They're absolutely fantastic. And they were. Then they've got better and better and better. And the first iteration of the P770 was released and TaylorMade called that the P790's little brother. So it's the club for the lower handicapper, but who still wants that air of forgiveness, still wants that good feel and still wants a ton of performance. So I had to get them in there. I had to get them in at number one, to be honest, because I think they've done that well with them and they haven't ruined them because it would be so easy for TaylorMade to be like, yeah, we're going to keep smashing these out every year. We're going to keep morphing them and changing them. I'd love them in black. I think black irons just look fantastic. They did a copper version of the seven, did they do 770 copper? I'll put them on screen now, but I think they look really, really good. And for me, the blade length, the top line, the sh everything just looks like you would want a nice traditional iron to look whilst giving you all that performance and feedback. And that for me is the best of the bunch in 2024, go in. <laughs> you can't go wrong with any of these irons, really. See you all at the same time tomorrow. I'm gonna fill these divots in, goodbye.